I'm Edie Lush and I'm inside the Hub Culture Studio. It's Davos 2020. Absolutely delighted now to be joined by Lisa Choi Owens. She's the Chief Revenue Officer and Head of Global Partnerships for TED, which of course I'm a huge fan of. I'm a communications specialist <laughs> and, uh, and, and somebody who really believes in the power of communications. Yeah. So I want you to tell me what you're doing here at Davos sure. and what you think the critical issue is that we need to focus on. Yeah, so um, we're here mainly to learn and to make sure that we're kind of getting the message out that ideas, that there are some very important ideas that we need to focus on. Mm -hmm. uh, we certainly spend a lot of time delving deep into major topics. And while that's been the crux of what it is that we do and we try to inspire the world and educate them with um, you know, consistently fact-checked, yeah. uh, you know, deeply insightful content, we have recently kind of felt the urge to move more towards action. That's interesting. Yeah. So from just <laughs> spreading ideas into actually driving action. That's right. We're not abandoning, and we think it's critically important to continue to educate and inspire, um, but we have recently just gotten the bug uh, with regard, obviously, to the climate. Yeah. Um, this is something that we put a priority on because we understand there is a there is definitely an expiration date on that. And yep. so what well, we're- It's about two <coughs> minutes to midnight. I yeah, yeah. Good phrases. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. And so, you know, what we're trying to do is just make sure that we're, um, you know, making sure that we rely on the experts that are in the field where there's no, by no means are we climate experts and we're trying to mm -hmm. reinvent anything. But what we're trying to do is do what we do well, which is to convene people together, mm -hmm. different bodies, uh, government, um, government organizations, businesses, uh, activists, and citizens, um, and then basically amplify the message uh, out to the world, which is that we actually have to work together and it is complicated and it's actually time to get away from sound bites and move towards um, planning for how we're going to reduce carbon emissions by 50% uh, by 2030. I remember writing a blog about 20 years ago, ago saying that climate change had a communication problem. Yeah. Part of it is the science. Warning people about the probability of something going to happen is hard. Now that we're seeing obviously real climate related disasters, okay. it is easier and we do see people who previously weren't yeah. able to take action yeah. now moving towards action. I wonder how you see this since you since yeah. you launched this initiative. Yeah. Yeah what you've seen the reaction be? Um, I, the reaction has been incredibly positive. I think actually what we do is we act as a translation layer. Mm -hmm. So what, you know, sometimes you see at, at other people's events and other content is, you know, they oversimplify it. And it's sound bites and it's, it's kind of easy for media consumption. Yeah. And then on the other end of the spectrum are the scientists that are so devoted um, to um, fixing the climate, but they kind of get lost in the nomenclature. And there's yeah. one and a half and two degrees and net zero. Yeah. And, and these, Celsius or Fahrenheit. Yeah, and, and these, and these 2030 things. 2030 and 2100. That's and exactly right. And what we do is we make the complicated accessible without dumbing it down. We mm -hmm. certainly don't oversimplify it. We make sure the essence of the issue is there, but we put it into a format that we think is really consumable and understandable mm -hmm. and entertaining all at the same time. And I think that's, that is a very particular role that Ted can play that I don't know that anyone else can. What's next for 2020? How are you gonna kick off this decade of action, uh -huh. the well, golden <clears throat> decade? Well, we are having our conference in Vancouver. I call mm -hmm. it Big Ted. It's our, right. it's our flagship. It's in April. Um, and you know, very apropos, the theme is Uncharted, okay. um, which is really how we're looking at this kind of next 10 years. I think it's virtually impossible, and I think you have to um, worry about trusting people who are absolutely certain where that future is going, but we will continue to remain committed to unearthing ideas that we believe are novel and different, um, and making sure that there's depth uh, for people to be educated in the right way to start making better decisions in the future, whether it's for climate or democracy or education. Lisa, thanks so much for stopping by the Hub Culture Studio here in Davos, and I'm Edie Lush. Thank you.